Well, good morning, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed a wonderful weekend, and I hope that you're charged, refreshed for a beautiful Monday morning. Take your Bible, if you will, to uh, Philippians chapter number four. We're going to be looking at verses four and five for our Sunday morning recap. Uh, listen, let's just start here. This is the thing I want you to know from this past Sunday's message. And if you get a chance, go to our website and check it out. I think it'll be a help to you. But here's the thing. We need to begin to decide in advance to rejoice. When we start our day, we need to start with the perspective of rejoicing because that rejoicing is going to put a lens uh, that uh, in front of our eyes that we look at life. It's going to help us filter what's going on around us. And we need to, uh, to rejoice as an act of obedience. God wants us to be a people of rejoicing. And that action of obedience will eventually inform our feelings about how life is going. In fact, let me read the verses to you before I forget. Uh, verse number four says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. And that Lord is at hand can mean a lot of different things. But what it looks like it means is the Lord is with us. And the Lord is uh, uh, and is helping us through the day. So we should rejoice. And that rejoicing is going to help us respond to life appropriately. That means we'll be able to be gracious when grace is needing. We'll be able to be gentle spirited instead of flying off the handle. That appropriateness does not supersede any of the fruits of the spirit. That in fact, the appropriate uh, behavior is uh, exhibiting the fruits of the spirit. So I want to encourage you Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 and 5, it tells us to decide in advance that we're going to rejoice. I hope that helps. Enjoy a wonderful day.